let that dry and when it's dried I'll show you a really super special effects wax that will change what this frame looks like now into something that really is super special and then I'll show you something else that you can boost whatever it is you put in there so we'll just wait for that to dry next day all dry and for those of you that are interested that roast lamb that I was smelling yesterday was absolutely lovely but next day I'll let this dry overnight and as you can see it's nice and clear and take the clamps off put together let's move this bucket out of the way now what I'm going to do is just grab a little bit of 220 and in these grooves along here I'm just going to run fold the paper in half and run it along the edges like that and what that'll do is it'll just define the pattern that we've got in there and also get rid of any little bits that I didn't clean out properly with the plane. And you can if you want you actually do this before you cut the mitres to put the frame together. And had I thought about it, I most likely would have done it that way. Now you can see all the sanding dust in there. I'll grab the vacuum cleaner. Suck it all out so it's clean. Any that's left on this paper here. Just fold that up and I'll put it in the bin later on. Now what I'll do is measure up for the glass. That should do fine. Cut the glass in a tick, but before we do, I've got to show you this special effects wax. Okay, I'm going to make a bit of a mess. So put a bit more bench protection down. This is the stuff here. Libron Special Effects Liming. And it gives a beautiful sort of beach house or French provincial look. And there it is. What do you do? Grab a rag. No special preparation. And then just rub it all over the frame that you've made or whatever it is you want to put the finish on and make sure you get it into all the little nooks and crannies and I don't know if you've seen the woodworking masterclass one where I actually made this frame I used the opposite I used a, a black wax to give it that aged look and for this I'm actually going to go all around the frame and on the outside rails as well. Make sure you give it a good coverage to get the maximum effect. If you really want to, you can go over the back. Not necessary, but it just gives it a complete coverage then. And on the inside of where the glass is going to sit, that way you won't get any dark lines of the timber coming through. All right, that's it. Then get a clean bit of rag, or a clean bit of the rag that you're actually using, and then just wipe off the excess like that and the same with the front now that in itself 
has changed the look of the frame dramatically. But I'm gonna let it dry for a bit while I cut the glass and then I'll show you something else you can do which brings it up even more. So I'll just put that to one side. All right, wash my hands, got most of the wax off because I didn't want to get wax onto the glass. And I've got my measurements. I've got my non-slip mat. First thing I'll do is measure the long one, which is 363 mil. Got a glass cutter here. My normal glass cutter is actually down in my other workshop, and I thought, oh, I'll buy one of these cheap ones online. Um, yeah, they're two bucks. Don't, they're rubbish. What happened was I filled that full of oil, and as soon as I did, all the oil ripped out and went everywhere. But I've got it now, so I might as well use it. Tell the story, you get what you pay for. One bit, save that for a job later on. Just make sure we're the right width. Which we are, that's wonderful. And 268 the other way. And it would be easier if I had a little T-square to do this with. And down in the workshop, I actually do have a large T-square I cut glass with. Sometimes we just got to work with what we've got. And I'll move those shortly, because I guarantee I'm going to tread on them otherwise. Okay, let's see how close we got. And there it is. What I might do is I'm going to cut the background of what my wife made to the size of that glass and then we'll see how it looks when we put it in the frame and then I'll show you something else extra special you can do that will really bring it alive. And this is a rotary cutter which <clears throat> again I found in my wife's sewing room and I thought they are so good I must have it. So I have. And that's central, I'm happy with that. Now I just put pressure on the glass and just run this up the side. And there we have the design cut exactly to the size of the glass. And that's how it looks in the frame now. For me, it's a bit washed out. So here is where it becomes very creative. 